Sulfur is the water you can use to the gas. But the gas is in solution. So you don't to test the water, you the water out of the air in the sample. So you can then sniff it and see if there's any gas in it. And that's expensive test. Yeah. You can do it. What would be interesting to get a lot of and outside faucet. I smell the water coming out of the outside faucet because that would be pitch right to the outside faucet, not that two foot or three foot piece of glass. Yeah. I mean, if it was the pet piping, then you think everybody would have. I have some pet, you know, I got both in my yes, head, some pecs and some. So I'm kind of like hijacked your reading here. So I, uh, no, so no, no, I saw your agenda there, but we've been doing your ass. It's, it's, it's a mystery. Well, yes, it's, it's a mystery to us, too. It's like, yeah. Know this calcium, know this iron and magnesium, yeah. know this is sulfate, but why are you getting the like, sulfate gas? Because it, it could come from the sewer line, too. Uh, we thought I thought that for a long time, and uh, that's what I did in my experiments at home where I blocked off the drains yeah. and just smelled the water. So I wasn't get you know, because I put chlorine down, uh, bleach down in the, in the trap, but I do that regularly anyway. <laughs> you know, the, the other thing was it was the whole thing that I had talked about. That what was it that the diameter of the pipe going down um, long planes is perhaps a little bigger than you would have liked, and so consequently you, you have a little more stagnation. But honestly, with every house that gets built down there, yeah. it's better and better. Deep. Last year when we had when we couldn't keep up on it, and we ended up. Hooking in the Hatfield and feeding backwards. Right. Hatfield, Hatfield was feeding Long Plain Road, River Road, Straits Road, Egypt Road. I think there's, I don't know the exact number off my head, but it's like, say, 58 houses. Yeah. This system was feeding the other 320, and they were pumping as much water as we were. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, it, I don't think it's so much a stagnation. I mean, it's the more houses that get put on it, and the more, which means the more usage, which means the more the turnover, right? turnover on the puddles. And, and what about the dead end of the tracks? I mean, that was the other thing you were drawing up. Right, which we are hoping to. I mean, I got to start the paperwork with the railroads <laughs> to get the pipe underneath. And just, I mean, anybody knows the worst thing to have in a water system is dead in. But in Waitley, I mean, there's only, I think there's two we could close. We could close the Egypt Road and the Swamp Road one. The other ones would be, I mean, it'd be nice to run like the dead ends down here in the Long Plain Road across the Meat River Road, but that's, yeah, I, I highly doubt awesome. that's ever going to happen. <laughs> One of the people that has complained, I guess, the most to me is at the end of Eastwood, the very end, all the way down on the left, that one that has, I don't know if you've seen it with all the rocks and the trees and brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I wonder if that's kind of a little bit of a, it's kind of a dead end going out there. I don't know. I'm trying to think how the pipe runs there. I'm sure they put a T there. Two roads, and it's just dead ends. It's just dead ends to that. I think so. I where that I guess it's supposed to be a culvert out there. Well, yeah, I guess it's not culvert, it's just no, but culvert. yeah, you know, there's two houses culvert. at the end, but the one on the left, which you're going up eastward, that's where the two women are. They said they don't brush their teeth, but it's just mm -hmm. stinks but all the time. And I wonder again, dead end, you know, that okay. could be because if they did, I gotta look at the maps. If they did run a full eight inch pipe, and you have. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you have a, a hundred feet of eight inch pipe coming off the big loop, then I mean, that's that's a lot of water sitting there that one house ain't going to no, use very often. It's the, it's the person storage tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that's kind of why when like big businesses going to put sprinkler systems in, I always tell them, don't take your domestic water off your big pipe going to your fire system. So, you know Kathleen's lady, where she lives on the Gray Oak over there. She's on the, the tax assessor, one of those things. And she said that uh, a couple weeks ago, they were doing an assessment 
of the uh, who's the uh, uh, Amherst Trucking place that's right by Muffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said when they were in there, and she just told me the story last week. She goes, one of the assessors said, "What is that stink in here?" And, and they, you know, and they had the bathroom door closed, and they said it's the water. Because yeah. we keep the door closed, the Amherst trucking with the water. Yeah, his, I know. Does. Is that you know that story? Yeah, yeah his, I know. So his is the same thing. He's on in how many feet of eight-inch pipe, and it's only that building. I mean, his. We tried going back as far as we could. You know, what I mean, uh, for his service, but it's the same thing. There's not much usage at that in the state road. Sure. But it was just interesting. Here you had three tax assessors there. <laughs> They're all saying they didn't want to go in the building and stuck something. They just said it was reeked of hydrogen sulfur. And, uh, you know, and so I said, well, that sounds like the same thing. If you connect it across there, maybe that would solve it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, so you'd make a loop now. Make a so, loop. yeah, we're only what, uh, about 500 feet apart. Yeah, it's, it's not much. I mean, no. <laughs> it's, to, you know, bring pipe, to, to bring the pipe from Egypt Road to the tracks is quick. Yeah. It's getting underneath the river tracks that I think is going to take a while. Yeah, probably an act of Congress. Yeah. You know, it's it's just a lot of money on paperwork. Uh, <laughs> See, it's weird. So it's it's kind of your, your, your recommended guideline by the feds is a secondary condemn. It's not sulfur is not a, a health hazard. It's just it's a, it, it's 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 a, an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic. Yeah. Issue. I agree. Yeah. But you know the, the minimum, the maximum level that you know is a guideline is two hundred fifty parts per million. Of, of sulfur. And when this water was sampled back in the good, it was 28. Okay. So there's not much sulfur. So I really have a loss of my have that much hydrogen sulfur that stank for a long time. So I, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I agree with you. So what is, what's causing it? You know, yeah, why do yeah. people, you know, just not drinking the water because it, it yeah, just yeah. comes in there? I mean, here you are brushing your teeth and this lot of next smell, you want to get out of the bathroom up there. Oh, yeah, it stinks. You know, and so, I mean, I understand the numbers, but I also have to understand the people that are going there. And they're not, you know, I had one person that turned around and said that in, uh, what was it, in, in Southampton, that they started, the water company started giving like rebates back to the people because of water quality. I said, no, we're not going that route. We're going to fix this. We're not going to try to turn around and start asking about that. You know, and, uh, it's, it's crazy, but it's, you know, it's people. People, yeah. you know, and people talk to the next person, and the next person says, Oh, you're not drinking it. I'm going to buy a bottle. And it starts to get a little bit of a panicky, right. crazy thing. And that's not good for us or you or anybody. You know, it's, it's a reflection that is not fair, but it's it's what it is. I think, right, if it's sitting in a dead end for a long period of time, and now you've got air mixing, you know, exactly. it just accumulates. Yes. And that's what I know. If I go away for my parents, you know, were, we were going out to sell my parents' house. They, you know, they both passed away. There's an ordeal I never wish anybody would have to go through. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I came back after a week of cleaning out my parents' house, turned on the faucet, whoa, welcome home. You know, and then after 20 seconds, it goes away. But you know, and I'm not on a dead end to speak of. I'm on, you know, the yeah, you're on the so, you know, the Yeah. What do you think it is to take some tests in the houses? See if that works. Yeah, figure it out. Yeah. I, mean, I have a question. I mean, I just, I'm not sure myself if, if they can do a hydrogen sulfide test. If you do a VOC test, I'm kind of scan for that. Because that's, that's one question. It's something I can find out. It's not, it's not hard to collect that bottle. You just have to be careful. It's, it's like a, it's like a, a, little, a little test tube yeah. with a, that you never open. Okay. You, know, you open it, but it's got a rubber stopper on it. And you have to let the water go in slowly and you fill it and then you fill it to the point where you get the meniscus on top. Yeah. And then you put the cap on and, and then you flip it over to make sure there's no bubbles. Because when they do when they test it, is they just stick a needle down through the through the uh you just analyze the gas and they pull up and see if there's any gas in it. That's why it's not cheap because it's a gas chromatograph that analyzes when it's not it's not yeah, and then the test is <laughs> it depends when you do it. I, I mean I wait a week before I do it in some places. At the lady's house I was telling you about, I mean, they say all the time, but my place, no. But I think, to be honest, I think the, the, the uh, charcoal filter does make a difference. Yeah. Um, when I change that charcoal filter, uh, I change it every four months. 
and it'll have a coating of a, a tan slime on the outside of it. And uh, what I've been told is that's probably the iron. And you know, there is iron in the water. And, you know, no deny that. I mean, but uh, the filter's doing its thing, so I'm happy with that. Well, the hydrogen in sulfur. Yeah. You know, those charcoal filters are very reactive. They do a lot of stuff. These are changing those. People put those in and never change them. They wonder why. They're... <laughs> well, they wonder why the water doesn't circulate very well <laughs> it's, it because it floods up. The feds would not allow point of use filters as a solution for very small systems to contamination issues on, on, on contaminants just because of that factor. Yeah. In other words, we as a, the water system have no control of the contaminant. Yeah. So if you're pulling out, you know, the manganese is, is, isn't a health hazard specifically. But if you had, say, some small amount of volatile uh, gas, <laughs> if you put everybody with a point of entry filter or something like that, so you have to build a new treatment plant. Then who goes on this property to inspect them and check them? Exactly. And there's no legal recourse for the town and water system to go on to the shops. Um, so, you know, they won't allow them to do it. Okay. That may be it. Maybe it's the dead ends. I mean, is there some sort of consultant firm that can come out and give you, you know, I mean, we speculate. The dead end. We speculate it's the railroad tracks. We think that's what's going on at Amherst Trucking. But is there a water consulting company that can actually give you a little more confidence factor than just that? I mean, before, because trying to connect those two pipes, it's going to be costly. It's going to be a pain in the butt. But at the right. same time, is it really going to solve it? And we'd like to have somebody document that, yeah, we, you know, based on what we're seeing, we believe it would. To have some to the analyze water quality. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I like grab some samples from down there, see if they're the same as what's here, leaving here. You know what I mean? Is it picking out something else up in the pipes? Definitely, yeah, you ask what consultant drawing a private firm. Yeah. And, and now you're talking, you know, talking bids and contracts and you know, many thousands of dollars. Oh, to yeah. check it out. Uh, and that's going to go on user fees. And with, you know, that's our job is not to make the water too expensive, too. Well, the expenses are there. And I bet you probably have seven neighbors, maybe more than that, have spent five grand or more yeah, on, filter systems. on filter systems. And, um, you know, I think what comes back, and I, I don't know if you like that. I used to be a school superintendent, okay? And so constantly trying to get the pulse of the public to keep everybody happy. Yeah. If I call a snow day, all the mothers would matter. Yeah. But the kids were happy, you know? And, you know, we were a, a really poor uh, school district up in Maine, but it was always keeping the public happy. And because they get going, Facebook, the worst thing in the world, they turn around yeah. and, and condemn you on there. But, uh, you know, so, what I, what I don't like seeing are people who start snap, you know, sniping at the town. Yeah. I, mean, I moved here. I love this town. Okay? And I don't want people bad mouthing, but I think we can work together to try to figure it out. And when we say, well, I had to pay this much money to connect, and now I got to pay another 5000 just to have a glass of water. That's not, as a superintendent, I wouldn't want to hear it. I know you folks don't want to hear it. It's bad press for us. And, and you folks are doing everything that you can for it. And they just, I think what I want to tell them is, yes, they're looking at it. They're going to try to see what we can do and hopefully come up with some sort of a solution. And, uh, and I don't know. I mean, I was just surprised when I heard Kathleen telling me about this Amherst trucking that apparently it was as bad as it was. It's not an unknown issue, apparently. No, not that on that end. Is there anything of this end? Um, well planned or <laughs> The only way I know is if somebody says something. Nobody speaks at the school. Huh? Nobody speaks at the school. But... No, for a sulfur smell, never heard of school. It's school. A lot of they about always it. get brown water, or used to. I should say. Right. Yeah, they get dirty water a lot. It's cool. Yeah. Don't tell superintendent that because that would have been another. I knew what they did. Yeah. yeah. It did. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, other than having the lines eventually flushed out, you, you, you do flush the line. Yeah, twice you know, a year. Twice a year. So, you know, distribution systems, the treatment process is there to handle 
the mineral issues. It's you're talking sulfur, calcium, you can't do much more about it. Like this is that's pretty straightforward. And, and, and that's really somebody's personal preference. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, you, know, you put a softener and you know what it's like when you take a shower and you feel like you're slippery all the time because you've lost it. Yeah. But, but it keeps the life happy. And it also keeps the, uh, <laughs> keeps the coffee pot working too, right? So, you know, those little things. Well, I was just showing, I, I, I just moved in two years ago. I'm in a well and I had something with a little white. <laughs> That's just some calcium. And all our glasses don't you? ever shut the hang off that goes down through the field to the school? Have I? Yeah. Yeah. I do when I flush it. I'll shut that one off and then bring the water from Long Plain Road in, and then I'll go shut the one off at Long Plain Road, reopen the one on Christian Lane, and flush that one out. It's, yeah, it's kind of the same thing like when I flush down there area. I'll go to Eastwood and shut that one off. So it only comes one direction. Yeah. yeah. And then you hear everybody call you up and say, hey, my water's brown. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Normally, I used to do it during the daytime. So an eight inch line around that development? Everything yeah. in town is eight inch, yeah. Besides the one, the 16 inch coming up and down Christian Lane, going to the industrial. Right. Now, I, when I flush it, it's usually, I like go at night, like midnight to like four. While everybody's sleeping, and then anything I did stir up, hopefully settle back down for some opens the faucet or takes a shower in the morning. That's a good move. <laughs> when that gets built up and then gray oak, have like four houses down in the end those ladies are. Same. That in gray oak, the far end of that woman said so those two ladies. No, I think it's pretty much, much they're on the east side. I think right. they're voice went up to the east Aren't they going to be like more houses down there? On uh, gray oak, there's two lots still open. Uh, well, actually, there's one on the corner there, Francis and Gray Oak. Yeah, but I'm not. There's one. On that Turner, the yeah. thing I call the witch in the car is what he's asking. The, the Colfi sack. Yeah. On the end of Eastwood, the one she says she has it back. The end of Eastwood's all done. That's done. That's done. That's all done. Yeah. The end of Gray Oak, there's two more lots there, plus the one on the corner of Francis. And the, yeah. Now, you know the, the lot, you probably heard this one, this guy, Brian Margolis. He was the one on uh, he came to that town virtual town meeting or what you, the last meeting where there was a Zoom thing. And he's the lot next to me and he just sold it. You know, I'm not he said, I don't have to deal with this and that. And he did sell the lot and people were happier bought. Actually, the guys from lately uh, bought uh, Mike uh, Husted. Anybody know him at all? His mother lives up on Chestnut Plains. Oh, Houston. 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 Yeah, yeah. Houston. Yeah. 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 He just bought it. He's all excited, but my goal is sold it. And he was the one he called me up every other day, said, What's going to happen with the water? And he freaked out about it. And I said, Okay, good. Go. I don't have to worry about him anymore. So Mike Houston. Houston? Houston. Houston. Yeah. Okay, I get it right. <laughs> He's a great guy. I mean, he and Mary, his wife, they, I saw them over at the uh, uh, the cake lighting the other day, and uh, that was good. But, so, I don't know. I still like it. I love it here. Okay. I made the choice to come here to be near the grandkids. <laughs> so so I lived in Sanford, uh -huh. which is the west of, well, I mean, it's not He's a place. Yeah, so right. right. It's an old pool. They said maybe uh, using, I'll take some Try samples from down there and compare them to yeah. here. Yeah. See if something is so stepping on it and yeah. sulfide. Yeah. So from where? Yeah. 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 You know, we were in Lincoln. It's, it's easy to do it's that. Called it's called stinking Lincoln. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll ask them about that. And then, like I said, I'll do some, I'll grab some samples from down there and see what they compare to over here. Especially if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just to see if it's picking something else up along the way, or well, something's yeah. getting some well, levels being brought up down there for some reason. Sample for the, you know, for the sulfur, the sulfur. I mean, it's not a usual sampling regimen, right? It's something separate and different. And so, looking for sulfur, uh, you know, which we can do some of, yeah. But then well, what the cost is actually if you can actually sniff out hydrogen sulfide gas in a PFC sample. Maybe the regular once your regular VOC sample happened. Yes, did it. Just did I, it. So. I wondered about, and I don't know if it's possible, if there's a way to see 
what's causing the hydrogen sulfur, okay? which yeah, the well, ones that are the the iron, to figure out what's the iron bacteria, <laughs> I mean, could you almost do a, excuse me, like a colonoscopy of the water? <laughs> because what we're after yeah. is can you get a sample from inside inside the house, some of the water pipes go into the sink. Is there is there a iron a bacteria in there? Okay, and if there is, then that would, to me, tell everybody you got to flush your house with bleach, and that should take care of it. Because you know, why do I get it? Even though I've, I've only bleached the house once in two years now, maybe I should do it again. But you know, I, I almost want to just take a long pipe cleaner and put it down the pipe and say, do I get a, an iron slime out of it? And if that's the case, all right, there's your cause. It's not you guys. It's it may have been that maybe before you put the magnetic filters in or whatever, that all these houses got some sort of slime in the water system, and now we can't get rid of it unless we flush it out with bleach. And I know you said that the bleach is pretty high and you could raise it up even higher, but I don't know if that's going to make any difference coming to the house or not. All right. Well, actually, down the see, I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah. I think it's getting carried in the air bubbles now because you're. All the samples I've been taking down there out of the hydrants, the level of bleach or chlorine down there is actually higher than what's leaving this building. How do you count for that? <laughs> I'm thinking it's getting trapped in the air bubbles. Yeah, you know I mean the chlorine gas is getting trapped in the air bubbles and then it's getting carried down the line. Okay. <laughs> it's a spray because it it definitely shouldn't be higher than the leaves here. There's a lot of air bubbles get injected by this treatment system. There's air constantly going in. You can't yeah. really see them. They're so small. Yeah. But you know. Air bubbles. Yeah, you know in the little valve in the other room, jiggles open a little bit too much. Because it'll you'll open your faucet, it'll look like a glass of milk. Which don't get scared about that. All it is is just <laughs> it put too much air in there. Yeah, I, I told them when we first started the system, we had to regulate it. It just took a long time for us to yeah. figure it out. Yeah, sure. The little pumps that they gave us, there was no regulator, enough. it was just pumped full of bubble. Yeah, right? it just full bore wide open all the time. And it did. It honestly it looked like but no lately it's on been it. good. It's been good. I remember yeah, as long as first system on it, it's different. Yeah, there. as long as everything stays where it is, it's working awesome. Right. But every once in a while, that yeah, you know I mean, it's just a little knob. That knob will jiggle open a little bit more. <clears throat> Probably calcium. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's it. air also causes precipitation. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I mean, I, I mean chlorine is an oxidizing agent. So whether it's a chemical oxidation or actual air, you're going to get precipitation of minerals out of the solution. Okay. Now, how that affects the sulfur, I'm not sure, but it's certainly obvious with, with calcium and magnesium. I mean, yeah, because we never really had a calcium problem here. No. No, yeah. Well, it's not really not a problem, problem, but it's not really a problem. I no, mean, it I just you can once that yeah. had they had calcium water up Middlebury, Vermont. And you open, you watch in the bathroom and hotel, like, whoa. I mean, all the faucets are just Cake of white stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's calcium. That's, that's calcium. I mean, we, used, we used to get it on the, uh, the iron. You know, my wife, my wife has to iron everything and towels on up and, you know, keeps her happy. But the irons would stop steaming. Yeah. Okay. And then I'd run CLR through it, yeah. you know, and CLR would eventually get it. The thing would spurt out and then all this white garbage yeah. would come out. Then you again heat it up and you increase the oxidation. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. It's a tough one because it's like you know the water is meeting standards as it goes out of here and goes into houses. Uh, and there's no denying that I, I agree 100 percent that it meets the standard and it meets it when I do a water test. Right. Mine is coming on those are what? fairly new houses, so with the plumbing, the plumbing you got you know, we all got crud growing in pipes and the drains because yeah. your toothpaste plus your spitting is gonna cause things to grow down in that pipe. But you know, you put 40, I mean, put 46 yeah. lots in that area that are going in. They're not all built yet. I needed eight or nine to go. And you know, it was fine until they started putting them in there. What did that do? Did they put peg pipes in, maybe? Or is it that 
you know, it's a it's more at the end of a line now going towards, you know, Egypt Road or what? I, I don't know. Or is it the loop that comes in? Or if there's a dead end there? There's something there. What a quality, I agree. But the aesthetics, that hydrogen sulfide yeah, is more basically putting a black mark on it. And, you know, we don't, you don't need that. We don't need that. I mean, it's just like, what do we do to fix it? Yeah. So. It's a good mystery. Yeah, it is. You know, but I, it's, it gets me when I get, you know, the mother who's got, and I know you said to throw money away, but she says, no, you need bottled water. And that's, you yes, know what the big thing is. Imagine that saying, here we are, we live in this town, I've got this great water system, but we use bottled water because we don't yeah. think it's safe. Yeah, we all know it's aesthetic, but just the <laughs> big thing is, is, how do you explain that? What are we going to do for like these mothers and that to prove to them that they. Well, you got to make the snow go away. That's, that's well, I know that, yeah. but you know what I mean? Do I go down there and grab some water tests so that we can test it and then they can show them? You know what I mean? Point blank. Hey, I understand you don't want to drink it because of the smell and all that, but it is safe to drink. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything that you may, you know, is there some standard for how much how much hydrogen sulfide should come out of a faucet? You know, and you know, is hydrogen sulfide or a lot make smell? Could it be hazardous in a certain concentration? No. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, you know it stinks, right? It stinks. It's, well, it yeah. stinks, but I can't imagine if we were all in this room here and it was loaded with hydrogen sulfide, we'd be very comfortable. I don't know if that's closed. No, I don't think it's no, not that, but it's just that you know, it's <laughs> in a health for us. And I think that's what they're putting well, into What I'm saying is the levels, as far as we can, as far as we can open the data, I have it, the levels of hydrogen of sulfur in the water. Are but, but in the water, but not necessarily the gas. And that's the part, I guess, the water is somehow producing the gas, and that's what they're falling back on. So I think your water quality tests are fine, but it's just they're producing this gas. Why? I think we just talk to the lab up and see if they can do that test. So we go into the worst houses, what we think are the yeah. worst houses, yeah. get a couple bottles and test. Yeah. I mean, we got I think it's a small move. <laughs> just so we can solve the problem, or maybe they can tell us if we've got to find a different lab. I don't know. You can do that. There's that other lab there. Did we ever use that one in Agawam in the industrial park? Uh, yeah. I'm thinking they're the ones that did the PFAS test. Yeah. We'll talk to them and see if they do that test rather than going all the way to read. Yeah, but it's not that. They come down here. Well, we'll just set up a date where we can get into the house that what yeah. you think is the most smelliest one in the world. <laughs> yeah, we can get some less drive. Whoever complains the loudest, that's the yeah. outcome. Right? Yeah. Well, sometimes that's not the worst thing. But. <laughs> is it worth going to Amherst Trucking and taking a sample there? I can, I can see. I mean, they apparently have got a pretty bad problem there. Yeah, theirs has been like that for a while. You put them on a new name when you put it no. in there? No, we didn't want to. I know that they had their So we ran a new section of pipes. So over there, what it is, is I believe it's a, I believe it's a two inch that runs underneath Route 5 and then feeds them and Muffin. I remember you hit it when they put the names in. Yeah, it feeds both of them. We didn't want to put them onto that new main because Thinking it'd be only make it even only works. So it's muffins complaining. Did they get it once in a while? Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of it is just the water sitting here too long. That's why I like mean, questions. Like, I mean, I just wrote down. So it's probably it? worth. I'm thinking in my mind, it's worth instead of. Yeah, you know, I mean, I do the whole system twice a year, but. Maybe then ends it of that end. Yeah, I'd go every once a month or every couple months or something and open that last side, you know. Might help. Yeah. Yeah, the question I have is like somebody who's more of a chemist. So mm -hmm. like what is this water sitting stagnant in, in an iron pipe? 
plus a, a accumulation of H2SO4 coming up. Yeah, but it's see, like, there's the weird part is it not sitting in iron pipes. Or whatever. It's just sitting in <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I could see if it's sitting in, yeah, I mean, if a lot of it was ductile iron. Yeah. But that's coated too. That's coated too. Yeah, right. So it should be. It's not, I mean, it's not supposed to pipe as the water sitting there. Yes. Yeah, it's it's sulfur in the water. And you're adding some air to your, to your treatment process. Is, is that without a lot of, you know, accumulation of like the sulfide gas in the water pipes. So it's sitting there with the water and as soon as you turn on the force, it shoots the gas actually. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out, see if it's, it's a reasonable thing. Because it's sure. I've been kind of like, every time I said, I pull the drain out of the kitchen sink and I can smell it and then it goes away. But I put the thing back in. So I know it's sitting there in the yeah, drain. Yeah, it's, it's so intermittent. Because you call me and tell me you got brown water and I never have it. Yeah, and I'm only like four hours away. <laughs> 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 so there's a cap on the top and the bottom, yeah. side. Yeah, I've never had sulfur smell, I never had dirty water. <sighs> but you guys will get it down by the rear right. track. Yeah, you get air bubbles. I'll tell them. Me and Dan to pick up and drive yeah. down here and turn it down. <laughs> Oh, yeah, plane, so you just made her a water. That's a moment. <laughs> yeah. That's but like it's the only. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I don't mind. It's just the only way I know it's happening. Yeah. Well, English people are buying planes and they're laying out again. I'm not signing up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, is it worth still pursuing the whole thing about the connection on Egypt Road to. Oh, we ain't going to let that. That's going to happen eventually. Just yeah, we're not gonna. Get money so you're still. Yeah, we're not gonna not do that because it's water quality plus it gives us a second way Another to get water to the east side of town. Yeah. Just go at night and dig a hole into the tracks. No yeah. <laughs> sure, they'll love that one. You want to start nice and warm with your shovels? Is there a culprit that? Or? Bit there is. Yeah. Yeah, a nice big culvert, like a four foot round culvert. <laughs> you I, shoved the pipe. You ever dealt with the road? You guys, how did you guys do with the rail company when you did the system? I was here. Right. Was a railroad a pain in the ass when you had to do the system? No, back then, you know, 30 some years ago, it was bad, but it wasn't like it is now. Yeah. That's what my company used to do for a living. It's really under like railroad tracks. Okay. You know, it was all the permit process. And well, that's it, takes the time. They want engineer drawings and blah, blah, blah. And and the engineer drawings are going to take a big steel pipe and jam it underneath the ground to put well, the other pipe in. What now you will do with direct boring? Right. So you don't even have to affect the tracks, right? You go all in all, you go way underneath it. It all depends on whether they'll let you put the domain directly in there or it has to go through the sleeve. You know, you put a big pipe in and then and the small will drill it. I think that's what they made them do in Hatfield. They made them put a yeah, third, sleeve. A they sleeve put a big pipe, sleeve in and they threw the pipe. And then it's they slid the pipe through that sleeve and then you grout that pipe in there so it can't move. Oh, okay. Water yeah, everything will be expensive. No that but yeah, no, that one's not going to. It's go under a long range of planning. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah, you like well, I, and I can tell people. I can tell people that, but that's the plan. I mean, it's going to happen someday, and that may be the ultimate solution. But we don't know for sure. But at least, you know, the powers, the brain trust here feels that, you know, that it's because it's going to keep the water moving. Yeah. You know, and it's just that everything comes up. We got to put in filters, then we got to put in the booster pump. Now we're in the center of the town, put in another set of the station, and it all takes money. Yeah. What's the money in the town? I'm not one for doing projects slow, but I'm realizing how fast everything moves. It's just, all well, my buddies told me I was so lucky to get out before COVID hit it. I said, all right. But uh, yeah, just can't keep everybody up. All right, I think I had enough of your time, but I uh, very much appreciate you. Yeah. You know, you know, I'll be contacting you. Yeah, and definitely. Try setting up, I'll find out when he can come down from here. You know, and they said if you came to my house today and said, Can I have a glass of water? I pulled it from the faucet, you probably wouldn't you know, notice a thing. If you asked to brush your teeth, you might, but that's another story. <laughs> but, 
It's a, it's a, and that's why I really think that you know the bathrooms just don't get the volume of water through the individual sink. So it's a stagnation thing again. Uh, maybe, you know, yeah, crazy. All right, you have the fifty-four shirt. Do I have a fifty-four shirt? Yeah. No, I don't. But you know who does it? I think it's Gary Maynard on uh, Gray Oak. Is that the one you've seen? I'll take it. Then. Yeah. He, he's uh, a music teacher over at that Bennett. Is that how you said it? Yeah. 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 He was a music. I don't know if he still does. And his wife Nancy. Uh, they're both from around here. I guess. No, I. Uh, well, my father had a '57 Chevy. Oh, a pink, a pink one of all things. Oh. Little wings in the back and everything. Pink. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was uh, the thing to have back in those days. Yeah. Uh, Better than that Yeah. My mother let me get a pink one, but that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the bar. yeah probably. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, me too. All right. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Wayne, thanks a lot. Now. Yeah, I'll you. be in touch with you. All right. Thanks. I'm sure those tests come. I don't know. I mean, I was thinking of it. Yeah, and that's a real kid. I've right. never run into it in all my years with somebody who's wanted to test behind himself like this. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just think it's, it's all a chemical, so you would, have, you would have either way to do it, but you know, does the lab do that kind of test? Yeah. Otherwise, you know, the question to me is, like, well, this it. stagnation in, in, in the line, less movement of the water, but for this treatment process, it's got a specific treatment process, will that cause you know, the ability of a cell to come out of the solution, given the concentrations? Right. Because that's, if that's what it is, it's still at those levels. You know, again, that's what, 30 years ago in the individual system? Yeah, so it's just they might have to test for sulfates again. Just check the raw water and then you know just go from there. Yeah. But it seems it seems to be like it's if it, everything's eight inch, then maybe we just don't have enough water moving through the system. But then you know, I'm well, that I know yeah, that I know it is now at the end of Route 5, the yes. southern end. But yeah. it does add that the question, which seems like we have certain evidence that points in the direction that you're getting more. You know, release of the, the cell phone, you get more of the formation of the gas if it's stagnant. Stagnant. Yeah. And then, you know, we can at least tell them what we can tell if that's if, if it all comes out that way, we can just tell them apparently there's not a movement of water through it. And, and, and with, with the treatment process we have, you add air and air plus the cell phone. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not much we can do about it. Yeah. Would you rather have that or would you rather have black water? Yeah. Black water. Because I know the mineral deposit that you get now is a lot worse than it was before since we put the filters in. The deposit? You know, I know it is because I used to always the put calcium. Of, the calcium. Because oh, yeah, I put yeah. a pot of water yes. on the stove yes. and it would take maybe four or five pots before I'd start seeing a buildup. Now I see a buildup. Well, the calcium was being overwhelmed by the manganese. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what it was. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so much manganese and manganese is coming up. <laughs> well, when you try to take a puppy pad and get those little spots oh, you off, can't. No, you, can't. you put some CLR in there and let it set for a minute, it comes right off. Or if you boil a pot of water slow, you don't get it. But you boil a pot of water fast, and it seems to be one pot. Six or eight quarts. Yeah, I know. I told, I told Beth, we got this. That's well, this is if you don't want the countertop stuck and dingy, wipe up the bed, wipe up the water. But when it gets on here, on the yeah. floor, <laughs> don't let it sit there. Yeah, I always do. Or wash dishes or something. I take a towel and go around with yeah. it. Or every couple months, you see a bitch. put a paper towel down and dump some around it, let it sit, and you see a bubble. Scraper. <laughs> I still can't get it off. But that's just the way it is. I mean, yeah. you can't change it. But it's interesting, some of the ones get that problem. I don't know if they're doing some kind of filtration over there now. Or... I don't think they're doing anything different. Unless the water makeup is changing. Really. Could be. Speedos. Where's, where's their wells? They got a reservoir in them, or are they just wells? 
They got the well on 116, right by right. Water Brothers. Right? Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Here. And I know they that can't be their own. That, I know they got a tank up on the hill. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, it wasn't being. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. And I'm not, they probably got another well somewhere else. Yeah, it's good. But that, I would assume that's a gravel path well there because that's a gravel well. Do you know anybody who asked the question about chemistry? I was thinking, I was thinking, I'd see maybe I could get some basic heat mass. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. I mean, I don't know anybody at DP with it. No, I said, I mean, I know, I know people that go to UMass or have gone to UMass. And they can well, talk to some of the people at church because the church I go to is at Amherst. And there's a lot of professors there. Hey, so, I mean, you just you need somebody as good as a can. <laughs> ain't me. <laughs> Family mentions consultants in the garden. So consultants can be fine, but what are they? Who do you ask? Right. Yeah. I was thinking like that. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of seeing like contact you met. Maybe they'll do something about Could be. What you got to find is a grad student that's doing a study and has got to write a thesis. Right <laughs> in. <laughs> That's what happened with a lot of the studies. The yeah, studies yeah, so that I read that issue. There's some, some benefit to having the academic world close by. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah. I mean, that's all. Yeah, that's all since the point to it. It's a dead end here. Yeah, the water is sitting there. But how high are the sulfates and what's the chemistry that makes that work? Yeah. Other the kinds of stuff. I mean, God, sulfur. It's it's around, but you know, it's, it's, it's not that prevalent. I'll run around for all the years. Everybody had iron bank. Everybody's worried about arsenic. They have a radon and all that stuff. Yeah. Nobody ever really thinks about sulfur. Be there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mystery. All right. Oh, you have to put any new things in. Up there? Well, up there needs some. This section, I'm thinking probably the, that little piece on the others. No. No, if we need to go all the way down here. <laughs> what do you want to put the fence in? Show me an anchor. That's going to be expensive. I was going to say. There no, some. I can't, can't see. Get it anyway. Yeah, I can't see why you just don't use the same cattle fence. Or what I call it, right? That's, that's something we could do ourselves. Is that oh, a, yeah. a regulation? Oh, yeah. yeah. So the tank's supposed to be fenced in. This, technically, I think, is supposed to be fenced in the, all the way around. What about a gate? Yeah, you gotta fix that. You know, I mean, you gotta need a new half a gate, at least, from where that oak tree fell on it. Which hopefully, you know what I mean? I want to get that stuff done, but I'm pretty sure next year is our sanitary survey. No. Yeah. Perfect yeah. time to find out what they Well, I know he was big on fencing and gates last night. Fencing gates and screens. Screens on everything. And then now that when he came last time, the screen size dropped again. The screens have got to keep out insects now. It, any opening, the fence down on the well heads, oh, everywhere, the top of the tank, the overflow to the tank. Well, the vents in the well head have two sizes? Well, no, the vents on the well heads are like these. Yeah, so they were that. screw in like solid metal. They're just, I don't know, think of it as a metal cap with holes drilled in it. Right. It's too big. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so then we're easy. Just take some window screen, put it around it, zip tie it to it. <laughs> well, the storage tank, you have a coarse screen and a fine screen inside. Yeah, well, I had to put, off top, I had to put a piece of window screen because it was too big. 
Expected. Which the only one I really ever have trouble with is the overflow. Because if it ever does overflow a little bit, the window screen doesn't let water through very quick. <laughs> so, 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 so the screen ends up going down. So you can put one back in. I mean, it never really overflows, but yeah, it just it doesn't let water through very quick. You do that type of sanitary service anyway before I even take it off. Right. Yeah, no, when I started using it, I started cutting around brush, cleaning that fence line up. There's just some stuff I can't get. You know, they didn't great mine. <laughs> With no grapes. Huh? With no grapes. Look. Well, they just took the, you know what I mean? They took the trees and everything down with them. They're so heavy. You got that thing right there. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah, no, this this is good. It's just over there where that tree fell. Yeah. Coming in. Yeah, I mean that just needs I'm thinking it can probably fix everything for just get one roll. Tractor supply. And right. One roll of the fencing, which should be enough to do everything. Yeah, no, I mean, chain link fence would be nice, but it's expensive. So you can't get it right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. All the fencing. So what's the next thing? The air compressor. Just got to buy a new one. That's it. Yeah. Is that who's crapping out? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's getting louder and louder. Oh, just, just a little one. That's it. That's something. Right. But what is something we, we can't screw with? Do we put $3,000 into it and get, you know what I mean? A piston compressor, dual stage, oil. You know what I mean? A good, like a shocker, yeah. a good air compressor. Or do we put five grand into it and get, a screw type air compressor where there's no noise in the thing less for me. What's, how much money you got in the budget? Well, it don't matter. I mean, it's gonna work. I mean, I can't see that's part of the filters. I mean, like you can probably use the money from the filter extension. Where do you get that from Granger? That's where I go. That, um, yeah, I mean, you can get them from Rangers anyway. When I was just digging around on the internet, it was, you know, I mean, for a good Ingersoll Ram piston, man, it's like three thirty five hundred dollars for the smallest screw type one they had. I think it was like five grand. How long is the piston one going to last compared to the screw one? Well, that one didn't make it a year, did it? Yeah, yeah. But that's not a two stage. That yeah. one's splash oil. You know what I mean? Like, like the one Brian will have in his shop and that it's oil. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I've had one at the farm for 25 years now and haven't done a thing to it. Other people had one 10 years and if they, if they blew up. I don't know. Longevity, you can't be a screw type. Well, but do you spend the extra money. money for the screw type one or just go with like I said, a two stage oil piston. Now, can you screw the screw type? Can we put the vegetable or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can run it on that, well, whatever kind of oil that is. Yeah, as long as it's the pump, you know, the bearings are taken. Well, yeah. you look at how many. I mean, the nice thing with the screw one is the thing could be right there in that corner and you wouldn't need to hear it running. We went to a lot of pumps there already. So we might as well go with this food type that we can afford it. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's so actually, I second it. And it's not. It goes in a couple grand more. Well, you, know, you know what I mean? It's, it's not that big either. It can probably be tucked in this corner in the filters there and get it out of the room with the corner. Yeah. I mean, that's the other big thing to get. To get the piston one, I think the smallest piston one you can get is either five or seven and a half horse. That's 
you know, I mean, commercial or industrial grade. Well, if we got the money, go for it. Well, like I said, I'll look into, I'll get some prices on them and then we can watch them I'll call it. I'll have this stuff for you for next meeting and then we'll just figure out which one you want. Yeah, because I mean, you got to do something, no matter what, it needs air going into it, so. Yeah, you can't. I'm bringing my back compressor here. Huh? <laughs> well, that's, I've got this little thing I can throw on but. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Them things, them oilless ones, you, they lasted, what did it last? Three weeks? I got one. An oil splash pipe that's over 30 years old. Right. Yeah. That one, that's what that one is. And what did it last? A couple months? That's after Brian's air can. <laughs> See, it just all down. Yeah, you know I mean, it just it sucks. You can't, that one's a, just under a thousand bucks. But I mean, if the thing's only going to last, Two months. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll get some prices on both sides a, a screw one and a just a good industrial piston. Spend everybody's money wisely. Uh, right. Probably take forever to get one. <laughs> uh, no. You just got to look for the ones that are in stock, they say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if it's not in stock yet, yeah, it'd probably take a while to get. But I mean, even if it took a while, I mean, it just would be worth getting the one we want. You know what I mean? That'll think will last the longest. I mean, it can keep that limping along with whatever you need to. But. Okay. What's the next thing? Oh, one more. One more. more. Cattle fence. And gates. Is that the one in the back of me? It's truck oil. Yeah, that's what I mow it. It's, it's small. <laughs> yeah, I got a little sitting in my head. The shed was fired up to use as a trim bow, and it wouldn't work. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That had long enough worked fine and carburetor. Yep. Carburetor. Just take the carburetor out part and clean it up and put it back on and it'll fire right up. Wait until it gets too cool. I'm not gonna do it. Actually, you have to cut grasses here. <laughs> I'm sure, I've never mind. Grass means it's raining enough in the summer. What do you want to buy a mower? We should we need to get something? I was just uh, Boyd and Karen talking to Tom if he had a good used scad. He says in the spring, I usually have good used ones, you know, the landscapers turn in. Yeah. But right now he says he has Yeah, no. So I I'd like to get a walk behind. What do you mean? A walk behind self propelled. Oh. Well, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? If you could find one that's like three foot or 40 inch, nothing that's huge. What? That's big. So I got a 20 inch. Well, I'm not talking like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to just sit on something and drive around. But, you know what I mean? I don't mind the exercise, but I'm looking, it might be easier to move. But the other option is. Maybe uh, Keith buy one of his mowers that's only a year old or two old, and he can get a new one because he he mows how much more yeah, than we. Them things are huge. Oh, they're too big for you. I think you see them. They're huge. Oh, they're about sixteen inch. I think they're. Yeah, it's got to be at least. Yeah, it's going to be a. No, it might be six foot. Yeah, they're big. Yeah, I mean, I was looking, I was thinking something smaller because then it can just make a damn carrier for the research. Oh. <laughs> You'd have to screw around with a trailer. You know what I mean? When yeah. you go from here to over there and then up to the tank, if I got to. Go over and get some numbers on one. All right. So I'll look into them. <laughs> 
is that one that I said you could have? He's already put five hundred dollars in it. It's broke again. <laughs> so it's a good thing you didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be nice to have a zero I mean, or something like that to ride on. But with all the hills and crap around well, here, it's just walk behind would be better. Yeah, and it doesn't. I mean, I did it all with that thing, and it took me. I don't know. I think seven hours down here, which was. That's a lot of walking. That was good exercise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but time consuming. Uh huh. Yeah. Could be doing other things. Right. But it's, you know what I mean? Sorry, it's all looking for them. One of them old simple bar walking lines. <laughs> <laughs> So the center booster station, what I got where it stands now is, I don't know if the stuff has been signed, but supposedly they got straightened out. Yeah, their issues on there and straightened out. So they once being, that gets- They being the district up there? No, the owners of the property. Okay. So I guess once that gets signed, then the easement stuff can go ahead and those Ryan papers can get signed. Ryan said it would only take a couple of weeks for the easement. Right. Which, I mean, I wish we could have started a lot earlier, but I guess see Keith, I don't know if Keith still got time. Because, I mean, you missed this month's zoning board meeting. So you'll wait until September. Hopefully it gets on there for that one. And he gave me, Tom from Mechanical Solutions, he gave me a ship date of September 2nd for the pump. Which hopefully we get him September 2nd. Yeah, I mean, we really don't want to do nothing until we can fix it. You see me. I went off their drawings and the thing came in, it was five inches wider. <laughs> and kind of suck once you have everything. Right, we're going to have to pump before the building even starts. So. Well, that's what we wanted for me and Keith wanted from the beginning. Yeah. We wanted the pump sitting here so we that could measure it. We can see exactly where to put it. Where the riser is going to come up and down. Um, Mr. Pumps, that's. I had. I got the bacteria samples done and back. So I have those ready. I can to meet that requirement they wanted. So once, once I get this tank, I can get that put in. Then I can get a hold of the DP. They got to come down first, inspect it. Then I can get a hold of Elm and Mechanical solutions to get find a day when both of them can be down here for the setup. So maybe this month. By the time we're in the winter, and you're down to sixty-four thousand a day. Okay. State's pretty busy. Right. I mean, we survived this long, but I mean, you don't know how August could turn. Could turn really yeah, August could go the other way, and we don't see rain for the next 30 days. Yeah, we're just calling for showers this week, so in hot. All right. Yep. Well, it don't take long. I mean, a day when it rains, it'll drop to like 100, 125,000 a day. You could get two inches, say, today, and if it doesn't rain tomorrow, by tomorrow night or Wednesday or Thursday morning, the day after that morning, you're back up to 200,000 gallons. Well, I see this a little bit. <laughs> I got with farms that got in Long Plain, they down to Long uh, Chestnut Plain. I'm sorry, go down Christian Lane, take a right. And that first guy on the right there has a brick house. And they were just past the little. Uh, about the industrial thing. Yeah, you know, you can't, 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 can't. <laughs> the exact sprinklers. Yeah, and I would, I would buy the one day it's come back with rain. Rain would be banned. Well, that's something in this, you're not talking. Yeah, this time, 
next time around, next year's CCR. Okay, somewhere in there, I'll fit something in there about it. Yeah, you know I mean, because they're not expensive for those damn those things that detect if it's raining and then you won't let your sprinklers come on. You know what I mean? They'll bypass the timer, to, you know what I mean? To tell it, hey, it's raining. You really don't need to water it. <laughs> Do it at night, not in the daytime. Right. Which most of them now, I have to admit, they did. I don't see as many of that in my house. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. I mean, I don't know. If it's us to get that's kind of outreaching and they're listening or you see some of the big agonies that are sitting there. 90 degrees in July sun. <laughs> it's like, okay, something's a gravel. How much is it getting in? Yeah. Well, they're flooding it though. They're putting yeah. a lot of water on it. A lot of water on it. Yeah. To me, we never irrigate during the day. Or is that night? Late in the morning, seven to seven, something like that. Yeah, somewhere there. Early morning is good. If you're if you concerned about fungus and stuff, why don't you do it early in the morning? Yeah. Certainly not at 11 o'clock in the morning, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, what's the next thing? Oh, it's shed. I'm going to lean to something. Who's that? Get back on this again. What? Is that going to go? I don't know. Well, if we get a shed, we figure we can put it over there by the tree. Yeah. The is yeah. Yeah. Or do we add on to this addition another eight or ten feet? Just make it part of the building. Yeah, I think we should have a separate one because you're worried about paint. That has to be. Well, that I don't care because it would just be in that cabinet. Unit. I think I'd like to see one over there or a slab. Just build it. How big? Well, we thought, at first we thought a storage container, and that's only eight six by twenty. So if we go mm -hmm. maybe twelve by eighteen, yeah, I'll see if it'll fit. So. It doesn't matter how close we are to the bank. Yeah, but if we we don't pour concrete, I think it's we got a lot more flexibility. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we pour a slab, we gotta get a pool permit. Put it on let's rocks. Just, let's just pull a permit because if you put it on rocks, then you gotta use two by sixes or two by right. eights for a floor. Right, it's just if we pull a permit, cheaper. I don't know how much of that triggers the wetlands. wetlands. So I'm, <laughs> I'm with you, but I'm just saying, if we pull the, you know what I mean? I don't know how much of that gets triggered. Uh, it'll be a temporary shed. Right? Yeah. Straight carport. <laughs> One of those middle carports. Put sides on them. <laughs> I had a carport at my house in West Point. I missed it. Yeah. It was, it was, it was great. Yeah. In the Jeep. <laughs> or how about a prefab shed? Huh? How about one of those prefab sheds? Expensive. Yeah, I know they're expensive. I was looking at it. Right? But it uh, 10 by 12 is not big. But it costs five grand. Yeah, it was a cheap. Right. But you just, you know, all you had to do was put, put, put stone down and layer it and set around stone. Right. Well, that's what we're talking If you don't pour concrete, you got to go with the whole pressure treated two by six floor. Yeah. You got to use pressure treated plywood. You can shoot a plywood three quarter inches on this 100 bucks. So it's oh, oh, easy. Shoot. Look, hey, pressure treated is cheaper. Is that? Yeah. Don't ask me why. A pressure treated two by four is like four dollars cheaper than a regular one. Because <laughs> nobody uses them. I think you really thought we were selling at this auction, you know, pieces of plywood and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Manganese filter, why did I put that in here? Oh, I haven't heard nothing from them. I'm going to email them again this week. No. No, this is the original Manganese filter project with the addition. Trying to just get 
the paperwork done and the project done. <laughs> so we still all money then? No. All the contract, everybody's been paid. We've actually made the first payment on the loan. <laughs> uh, what do I have? Water meters, I haven't really done nothing with them yet. Oh, I did meet with, what's her name for the emergency response plan? It's been a bunch of hours with her. She's going to, I don't know how long it'll take her. I'll follow up with her. She'll put something together to start, and then we'll just add or subtract from it to it. Then she'll leave because we talked a lot about on told us there's a lot of changes that are happening like within the next six months. And she's like, well, we'll just leave open spots or whatever for this stuff and just add it into it. Then I had the telemetry again. It's this that from what we can gather, this gets screwed up. Somehow it forgets what it was set at. Oh. Right, so you gotta go in there. I just went in the other way for me because <laughs> I can, with my little cameras, I can be at the tank yeah. and see what this one says, but I can't go the other way. So I had she drove up to the tank the other day to tell me what that was reading, so I could adjust this one to read the same again. But somehow I got, I mean, within two weeks, it got two and a half feet off. On the low side too. So when that tank was full, this thing was still thinking it was two feet down. Well, when the screen off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind if it went the other way. Yeah. The guy would be calling you up there, telling you you're washing on the driveway. Yeah, but that's what I've been looking into. That's what that stuff is. That takes. From what I understand of it, I want to see that takes all this stuff out and puts it onto that stuff. Ooh, like the SCADA stuff. Yeah. So there's another between the compressor and that, we're up to 15,000. Right. I don't know if because. A lot of that was budgeted into when the uh, booster station gets put in, because a lot of this needs to get redone for that one to talk to this yeah, one. We'll just have to make sure that it incorporates this into the booster station. That I'm hoping not to, you know, I'm trying not to have to do this right now until that thing gets going. Because it was, you know, I mean, most of this, it was all budgeted into that budget, which we haven't really started yet. Probably just a hat sitting on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, you know, it's like a mystery. Because it, it's not, I don't know. Our mystery. Right, but it's a mechanical adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the weird thing. It's electronics, but it's a mechanical adjustment. It's old. Right. And when it happened the last time the one was down here, it read the other way. That Say that was at 20 feet, this thing was at 24 feet. But this time when it happened, it went the other way. That was at 23 feet, and I was only reading like 21 feet. And nothing, nobody touched me. Like, it just happened. It's like the clock not running, right? Which amount of clocks? Right, right. It's yeah. Like, oh, it's it's like, <laughs> oh, it's just going to. So the daily stuff all happening here, you take a daily ride up there. Yeah. Look at that number and compare it to this number, just to make sure it's not right. It's not so far out of whackers where, you know, I mean, this thing's sinking, it needs another 40,000 gallons of water, but it's already <laughs> blowing out the overflow. 
which I mean, right now is not too bad because the pumps are only pumped 100. And, they've been averaging about 130 because the inlet pressure has always been way up now. But, but once the booster pumps can go on, then they anyway, really start pushing that screen off of it. But it hasn't overflowed really at all. Later. I, I don't think I have nothing else besides you just could assign these commitments. Other than that, I'm done. Uh huh? Get in the water. Oh. Anybody else have anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you got anything else you want to talk about? Is up to me. We're all well blown off by the uh, blown away by the pine cleaning spoiler issues. <laughs> we'll figure it out. What do we do with that? Somehow. <laughs>